So I think it's probably about 103 degrees out here. I say 103 because yesterday it was. And in this garage, it's probably a little bit hotter. So I got my sign. This is my first prototype sign I've made. And it's made out of some reclaimed walnut flooring. Actually, no, I think it's white pine. And um, I really like the check marks in it. But as you can see, there's no wall here, so they've got to rig something. So to help the angle, I'm going to take a uh, piece of a reclaimed 2x4 um, and pre-drill some holes and screw it in here and hide it right behind the sign on this beam. So it kind of acts as a wall. Wall. Exactly. A little wall there so we have a better angle on that. So that's what I'm doing right now. Still be filming this? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not really talking. I'm not really doing anything important. Maybe like, no. Well, we finally got this rig. And it took longer than I wanted it to. So we spared you the details and fast forwarded it. But, um, after the help of a gracious neighbor, it's on there. And I'm fairly confident that it's not in the fall. So, now that that's up there, let's move on. I wanted to talk a little bit about my materials that I use. So um, I am a resin artist. I use glass, resin, acrylic, and gold or other metallic leaves. So I want to show my glass. Um, this is just tempered glass and I try to keep it dust free. So um, I do believe in recycling and so I, I get various things like shower doors, clean them off and give them a good um, wrap them up in plastic, shatter them on the side, they break, it's kind of fun. And then I just collect it cleanly and then keep it as dust free as I can. You don't want dust in your paint, so look at that. That is very professional right there. Um, I use a variety of resins. I've tried um, this one right here, E674 resin. It's pretty darn good. Um, but I have to say my all-time favorite is going to be art resin, which I have in the house. But art resin is amazing for non-yellowing. Very easy to use, it has hardly any odor at all, so I love it. Florida, and now that I'm out here in the mountains of Utah, 
Um, I really like to illustrate canyon rocks. I think they are fun to go find when I'm hiking, and I'll show you a few. media pieces. My friends just brought them up from Florida. They moved out here. So I feel like I'm having a little reunion with some old friends here um, in more ways than one. This one right here is called Caché and the idea is I love natural formations like geodes and rocks. I love going down in a cavern and seeing waterfalls and things that are just hidden but they're little treats in nature. I love French existentialist author, uh, Santos Zupami, and I'm gonna botch this quote, but he says, the beauty of the desert lies in that somewhere there, high, there lies a well. So that's kind of along those lines. This right here is called Francesca, because growing up I had a wonderful friend in art class who um, just was so brilliant and so patient, methodical, and just so artistically talented that I had to name a painting after Francesca. And this one's Golden Vine. Um, I love, that one's more about design because I love just that one little vine of gold and that herringbone pattern. These are scales. This is just a play on those scales, on upscale. Reminiscent of a lot of different things, Moroccan tile, pineapple, uh, pine cones even. Which, of course, <laughs> reflects my love of um, biomorphic design. I love anything that displays the golden ratio. And so I think of pine cones, pineapples, repeating patterns. Love it. This is Jolie. And that was a fun one to do. I poured concentric circles of acrylic paint and morphed it and watched them take shape like this. and then. Just played with movement, dragging my paintbrush through it until I got something that was just right. This right here is about energy, right? So I love um, spheres and I love uh, those lines, just signifying creation, movement, growth, um, energy. It's it's not um, bound within itself. It's it's um, becoming something and then it's going to explode. So I love that idea. And then as you can zoom in right here, there's a lot of different layers of color going on. And then the texture of the glass. So it's multi-dimensional. This one right here is a new direction for me. It's an oil painting. It's a little bit of a uh, departure and I'm really loving it. I love the texture of oil paint. I love how you can play around with colors and mix. I love the vibrancy and the depth that I'm getting from oil pigments. So this one is called Night Swimming. It is not done yet. It's probably 90% done. But if you can see, I've etched in the line of the last line of one of my poems. And it says, this ageless cobalt night breathed sweet roses into my soul. I went swimming and found the magic again, filling up these holes. And I swear it will never fade, amen. And then you can see he's gonna dive in. <laughs> so I just love the idea and that feeling of being out in nature and just feeling so at one with nature and feeling like you're just the most alive that you can possibly be. Out there, night swimming, being alone under the stars, being out in the canyon, being right here on the edge um, of the water. This, of course, is my professionally done sign. You saw the prototype in my little studio. This is called City Blocks in Blue. And I grew up in New York. 
It was not what I would call like a big city. It was a small village on the outskirts of a smaller city. But I've always loved bird's eye views and I've always loved kind of mid-century design, mod design. So this is kind of a, a melange of those ideas coming together and then it's a play on textures and then you have these bold shapes and blocks and then you've got the texture here. So I think it's um, also the idea of the diversity of a cityscape. That's it for my paintings that are out here right now. I'm always working on other pieces and I have some downtown. So I just want to show you what I had out today. So let's go do something else. Hello. So this is my new workspace. It is a lot smaller than what I formerly had. I was a little spoiled with 400 square feet all to myself. But life changes. This is what I have now. I'm making my own maker space and gathering my own tools, as you can see. Anyway, um, the point of this vlog today, the first vlog, is to just say hello and to encourage anyone out there who feels that they are an artist inside and it just hasn't come out yet. Sometimes you have to wear a lot of different hats. So I've worn a lot of different hats and I'm working towards being able to wear what I would call just creative hats with my UX design, my painting, my illustrating, whatnot. So thank you so much for watching my vlog today. And I wanna leave you with a thought from Casey. Nice dad. Nice dad, thank you. I watched him today. Super cool and super inspirational. To be an artist, you need your canvas or your seashell or your rock. You need your paintbrush, right? To be a writer, you need your pencil, your paper, okay? This is a dull pencil, so you probably need a sharpener too. To be a YouTube vlogger, you need an idea, and you need the internet and a camera. <laughs> it's a phone. <laughs> or, or a phone. A camera on your phone, a smartphone, or in this case, just a regular camera. So anyway, begin where you are, bloom where you're planted. I know that's cliche, but seriously do it. I just moved from the beach and I'm here in the mountains. It is a different climate. It is really hot, really dry here, but you just be who you are, share it, and just love life. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,